Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we are taking a quick walkthrough of Magic in Brigandine Grand Edition. Although much of this applies to any other Brigandine game, be it Legend of Forcina or Legend of Renarzia, which is coming out in June of 2020. Before I go any further, I do want to give a shout out to the Brigandine Wiki. I got a lot of my information from there, and even though this is a quick walkthrough, They've got the in-depth stuff, so feel free to check them out. They are a great reference, and I strongly recommend you spend your time there and learn as much about the game as you can. But on to the quick walkthrough. I want to start just by having a little talk about hexes, because the game is measured in hex tiles, and it's very important to understand this basic concept. A hex range of 1 means it can hit any of the red hexes on this screen. A hex range of 2 means it can hit any of the green ones. A hex range of 3 means it can hit any of the blue ones, and a range of 4 means it can hit any of the purple ones. Anything beyond that is pretty much superfluous, but this is just a quick visual guide, and you'll be seeing this a little more later as we go through my list of key spells. So these are a list of my key spells, the things that I use all the time. It's not a complete list, but it does give you some idea of how these things work. Uh, the first three spells are Frost, Flame, and Bolt. They are a 3 hex range spells. So they can hit any of the gr the blue circles, I say circles, I mean hexes, on the charts to your left. Uh, Genofrost and Genoflame are a circle area of effect, so they hit all of the things surrounded by the blue circles. Again, I say her circles, I mean hexes. Sorry, I get confused. Genobolt is a little different, that's why I've highlighted it. It has a four range area of effect, as demonstrated on the map. Fallberg and Exoblast are heavy damage spells and only have a range of two. Venom has a range of four and it can poison, which is very useful. Curse has a range of two, deals a lot of damage. Same with Divine Ray. Holy Word has a four hex area of effect. Uh, Meteor Doom, I just, I had to borrow the image from the Brigandine Wiki because I wasn't about to try to draw that. And, as you can see, it hits your own units, so that's why it's got a big frowny face on it. <laughs> um, that's it for offensive magics. For defensive magics, well, heal is good. Area heal, I demonstrated what it looks like. Uh, cleanse, four hats range. Harden and Fury are really useful spells. Uh, React is one of my favorites. Um, I've made a little video about React batteries, if you ever want to check that out. It's just my way of organizing stuff in my head for using those spells. Halo it guarantees your next attack will hit and it increases the XP earned, so it's a very useful spell. Dimension has a 4 hex range and it will, if it succeeds, move a targeted unit to a random hex. If you've got a really powerful but really low intelligence monster in your way, get it out of your way with Dimension. And then last but not least is Necro Rebirth, also known as Rite, which temporarily resurrects a dead unit. Uh, it doesn't let you keep it for the next battle, but it will bring it back to life. And that is always an essential ability in this game. I have literally seen that be the deciding factor in battles, so keep that in mind. I even used it in my latest cross mod finale, Snake of Chaos Battle. Go check that out, too. So for this final example, I want to use the Frost spell, and I just drew out its overall range in the dark blue, and its single target nature in that it hits one target in the light blue so you can see kind of more visually how the spell works and it's the same with flame it's the same with bolt and then there are other spells that have larger range or smaller range and you can kind of use your imagination based on this to kind of visualize where it's going to hit and what could be targeted all right friends well that's all i've got for you today other than to remind you to join the brigandy discord the engine site hit up the wiki if you need more information this was just a quick little walkthrough and i hope you enjoyed it very much i want to thank you all again so much for joining me if you enjoyed this episode please hit the like share subscribe friend follow or whatever buttons it really does help the channel grow it lets me know what you're watching so i can keep making more of it and i really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and as always on this channel la paz